I am here to draw your attention to the status of press freedom in India, focusing specifically on the case of a Kashmiri journalist, Fahad Shah. I also want to inform you that the reason as to why a Kashmiri journalist isn't in front of you talking about this speaks volumes about the state of freedom in Kashmir. As a lot of you might be aware, with the current BJP government getting re-elected in 2019, India's press freedom has become a cause for global concern. While India's ranking has slipped to 142 on the index, the situation on ground is extremely alarming with four journalists being killed in 2022 for simply doing their jobs. Journalists have been exposed to all kinds of dangers, police violence, reprisals instigated by local officials slash ministers, illegal detentions, slapping them with sedition and so on. Women journalists, especially those belonging to minority communities are often hounded and viciously trolled on social media. In light of this, the situation in Indian controlled Kashmir is even more dire. Journalists are often harassed for doing their duties, which include police questioning, investigations, not allowing them to print certain news reportage, denying print newspaper government advertisements and funding according to the new media policy. It also involves more sinister forms of intimidation, such as putting journalists on no-fly list, in which case they cannot travel without notifying the local authorities, and they are not allowed to leave the country. Uh, in certain cases, we have also noted harassment of families of journalists who may be abroad, such as in the case of award-winning photojournalist Masrat Zahra. Fahad Shah was first called for police questioning many years ago and since then has been routinely asked to come in for investigations or simply questioning. He is the editor and founder of Kashmir Wala, an independent news platform in the region. Just earlier this month, a contributor to the same portal, Sajad Gul, was picked up from his house and arrested. He continues to be in prison. Fahad had also been called for questioning, and two days after that, he was called to the Pulwama police station to give a statement. He was detained then, and the police did not give a clear statement on what grounds until later. Once the police statement finally came out, Fahad had been charged with sedition, the draconian UAPA Act, and intent to incite. It is unclear if these charges are against a specific coverage, as the police chief has said that it is based on the last four to five years of Fahad's work. This is extremely concerning, and the police is still yet to file an official report with the court, which may cause further delays in his case. Fahad's next hearing is on the 15th of February, before which we are trying to raise as much awareness as possible, so that his case is not taken lightly or subject to unreasonable delays, which will effectively imprison him without any charges. Delayed justice is injustice and holds a lot of ground in the Indian legal system. Fahad is an internationally renowned journalist with his works published on platforms such as Time, The Guardian, Christian Science Monitor, and has organized international conferences and created platforms on building peace and dialogue in Kashmir. He is also the author of an edited volume of essays on the region and was in the process of writing another book. He has always believed in the importance of working on ground and has sought to amplify the voices of people of Kashmir without censure and pressure from Indian authorities. His detention should be seen as an attempt to further curtail the last remaining bits of press freedom in Kashmir and to silence the Kashmir Wala. International organizations such as Reporters Without Borders, the Committee to Protect Journalists, his alma mater, SOAS University, have already called for Fahad's release. I request you all to kindly amplify and demand from the Indian authorities to immediately release Fahad and all other Kashmiri journalists.